My name is Rachel Matos, and I'm a painter. My name is Rachel Matos, and I'm a painter. <laughs> My name is Rachel Matos. <laughs> uh, this is going to be hard because I talk fast, so. I was born in San Diego. I moved, me and my family moved at the age of four. And then me and my sister were raised in the island of Puerto Rico till we were 13. And then we moved to Miami. I am the sister of a twin and a younger brother, he's 16. So in total there's three of us. My family's always been very supportive of my work. Um, both of my parents have backgrounds in art, so I think that that plays a role in why they are so supportive. I've never had a moment where they've tried to stray me away from what I want to do. There have been doubts whether I could live off of my work, but nothing to the extreme where it made me rethink of you know, pursuing my career in art. I became an art teacher when I applied to Michael's craft store. I saw that they had the position open and I said, hey, I do art, let me try it. And I've always been very hesitant to teach art because I always thought it was a fallback as far as artists go. But then when, after I gave my first class, I realized there is no greater pleasure than teaching others about the thing that you love. I became interested in painting around the age of 11. I was at my mom's job and I was drawing and then her coworker had a watercolor set and she gave it to me and I was like, oh my God. For most of my artistic career, I've been inspired by other women. Women in general is what inspires me to create most of my pieces. I think we're so strong and there's so much more potential that we can offer as a sex that that itself inspires me. What makes a good painter more than anything is someone who paints to give a message. So you're not painting just to create something that looks nice, but you're creating something that makes people think. The best advice that I've ever received was from my father. I forgot what painting I was doing, but he looked at it and he said, why should I care about what you're painting? And I looked at him like, what? He's like, in whatever you do, there has to be a purpose and you have to give a purpose to your paintings because it's nothing, it's nothing different than a job. You have to bring yourself and the best of yourself to every painting and your message because if you don't, if you don't care about what you're painting, then why should other people care? My goal is to teach, teach art. It's to find the balance between being an artist and being a teacher. There's nothing really more that I've wanted to do ever since I started teaching. I knew that that's where I needed to be, where I, I kind of like, okay, that's my purpose. Like my purpose is to teach art. As far as um, being my career as an artist, I don't think I'm close. I don't think I'm nearly close as where I need to be or where I want to be. I know there's a lot of work to do. I know that technique-wise, I have a lot to learn. So I'm just taking it one day at a time. I know I've done a lot for how young I am, but I know that I'm nowhere near where I need to be, which is a good thing, because I feel like if I conform, then I, I would just be okay with where I'm, where I'm at right now. 25, just turned 25. Significant childhood memory.
<laughs> you asked everyone this? Is everyone? the question intense or was it just the way that I did it? <laughs> I don't think it's intense. What's your what is your most memorable challenge? You know what happens is that I have very memory, so this this question, more than it being intense, it's hard for me to answer because I don't remember much of my childhood. Well, what anything come to mind? Uh, What's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, 